So for your love life, we have the page of wands. Funny, I mentioned the page of wands in comparison to the queen of wands. We have the fool and the five of wands. Okay, this is for your love life. In your career slash life purpose, we have the king of cups, the six of wands. Really not surprised here to see that card. In the Six of Pentacles. That's nice. Good job, you guys. Bottom of the deck. Good job. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups. Okay? So, this is a card about having a lot of options, a lot of ideas, um, but not necessarily knowing which one is the best for you. You could be interested in all of them. Having a, it's a card of indecision, and it's also the card of daydreaming, but not necessarily taking action on those dreams, okay? <clears throat> so, I think that this card right now is in relation to your love life, and it's very much standing out with the five of wands here. Um, so... The Five of Wands is a card of, of conflict, but it's, to me, it represents, like, inner conflict, not necessarily conflict with others. That, that I would say, is more so, like, the Five of Swords, um, like, competition and conflict. This, this, clearly, this is a bunch of people that are, like, fighting with each other, um, but I'm seeing it as an internal conflict and that could be within you or it could be with, within someone else that you're dealing with um, romantically. So I'm going to pull a clarifier for sure on that card. But anyways, that's, I would just wanted to say I'm seeing the seven of cups, energy of confusion, daydreaming, not really ready or willing or able to make a decision relating to that. Five of Wands in your love life. So we are starting your love reading with the Page of Wands, who is an ambitious, creative, uh, could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, younger. Doesn't have to be. This could, this could be you. Hmm, but I'm not really seeing it as you, and I don't usually, hmm. I want to pull some clarifiers, okay? I don't usually only look at a card and see a person. Usually I try to take its energy. Well, so the energy is like not being afraid. It's like being passionate about something and going after it almost in a naive way. With the fool beside it is a very similar thing. It's like... Finally deciding to go after something, a new beginning, um, almost in a naive, very childlike way where you're not really considering your, what could, what could go wrong. Hmm. Oh man. Okay. So the card that fell out was the five of pentacles, which is the card about being left out in the cold. So I, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I think maybe you could have made the decision to leave a fire sign or someone younger than you that is that channels this page of one's energy. Either you could have chosen to walk away from them leave them out in the cold or vice versa. But I see it as you leaving them because then you have the fool card. You're like, sorry, honey, but I don't need you. And you're like, I'm going to go on my own path. That's what I'm getting with this five of pentacles here. Um, but again, you could, you could be putting on this front, like you don't need them. Like you're going to, begin something new, but you're a little conflicted still. So let me pull a clarifier for, okay, that was very fast. Oh God. So we have the tower and 
when I was shuffling for this Five of Pentacles, the tower flipped over, but it didn't fall out. And so when something flips over, but it stays in my hand, I recognize it, but I just put it back in. Whereas the Five of Pentacles flipped right out. Mm. So, so you could have made the decision to leave someone behind or something could have happened that was outside of your control. It's very bizarre. Very bizarre. Because the fool, I love the fool. I love its energy. But again, there's two sides to the fool. He could be walking off that cliff into bliss or he could be walking off that cliff into his demise. So if this isn't you, maybe maybe you guys have been left behind by somebody who who's channeling this fool's energy, who's like not taking things seriously and and thinks that they will be better on their own. But I don't know how that's going to work out for either of you to be honest. Like whether it's you you walking away or them walking away. I I see it being a challenge. We have the Tower, Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. I, I'm sorry, like, I wish, I don't like giving readings where, <laughs> I mean, you guys started with the Sun card, so I thought this was going to be an awesome reading, but it, it seems to be a little bit more challenging. And then, don't forget, we have this Three of Wands, I mean, Three of Swords that fell out initially. So things might not be going as well as I thought they were going to, or as you thought they were going to. But with the sun, I would say this is pretty temporary. Like the sun is a major arcana. Five of wands, five of pentacles, page of wands are all minor arcana. So they, but they, so they might not be as significant. Um, anyways, I'm seeing definitely somebody leaving somebody. There is heartache. There is that sense of feeling abandoned. I'm just, I want to pull a clarifier on this tower situation. What is the tower? And how does it affect Libra? Seven of rods. Or wands, I guess. Damn, guys. I'm Seven of wands is a card of defense. Defending your decision. And sticking to what you know is right. Hmm. So, I hope this is resonating for some of you. What I'm seeing, I'm going to say it. Um, in the month of May, I think you are leaving someone behind to go on your own path. And that breakup is not going to go very amicably. <laughs> Sorry to say, I think someone's going to be pretty hurt by it. Um, and you might feel torn about it. You might, you might make the decision to go on your own, but you're still feeling conflicted about it. But seven of rods to me is saying sticking to your decision. Don't, and again, this doesn't need to be internal conflict. The five of ones, it could be external conflict. It could be people around you saying, why, like you're making the wrong decision. It could be your, the person you're leaving could be trying to start some, conflict with you but the seven of rods is saying stick to what you know is right what's best for you um and I usually I don't pull this many clarifiers but I just want to pull one more if it's another negative card it, I'm not going to be surprised but what I'm hoping for is to see an outcome if you stick to what what if you stick to this decision Okay, well, yeah, you got the page of uh, swords, which is again, it's it's communication, but it's like not not the best. Um, like some people might not take what you have to say in the best way, but it's just it's almost like cutthroat communication. Like, sorry, but this is how I feel. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be persuaded any differently and and just sticking to it very similar to the seven of rods okay guys so I hope that's resonating that was a, that was a little bit of a struggle for me because I I don't know obviously I want you guys to be happy and I'm sure you're happy 
And I hope this decision, it's going to lead to something better. You, you don't want to settle for anything less than what you feel you deserve. And don't be, don't allow anyone to manipulate you or convince you that you're never going to find anything better because you are, okay? Let's move on to your career slash life purpose. So this looks better, much more promising. We have the King of Cups, which is, could be an influential water sign, um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, this would be an older, more masculine energy, uh, person, or it could be you. And when I see the King of Cups with the Six of Pentacles, <clears throat> these are the very strong cards of charity. So if any of you are, are very concerned with helping others in terms of a life path or your job. I think it's going very well for you because you have the Six of Wands, which is a card of recognition, victory, um, almost like fame. And remember, I said that about the Sun card as well. So your love life might not be going awesome, but I think you guys are really passionate about what you're doing, and it and you're you're serving others. And when you serve others, the universe um, gets you back tenfold. They're like, okay, you want to help others? We're going to help you. And it can be hard to feel successful in that line of work because people in the, in the service, not like, like people, yeah, in social work, um, anything along those lines, justice, um, charity, non-for-profit, it, it doesn't pay very well. It doesn't give you that sense of recognition, but it gives you that sense of fulfillment. So I think by sticking to doing what makes you feel good, I think you're going to actually get some victory, get some recognition. Things are going to start to balance out where it's, where you're actually getting what you, you're getting back what you've put in. And I'm really happy to see that because you deserve it. If that is, if that is the case. Other than that, if you're not in that line of work, um, I still see this King of Cups, which is a balance of your emotions. Um, it's an intuitive figure. Cups are all about emotions and, and, and receptivity, but the King is a little bit more masculine. So maybe, and with the Six of Pentacles here, that's also a card of balance. So you may be really balancing and figuring out and being in control of your masculine and feminine energies in your workplace, which is hard to do. It's hard to be like aggressive and assertive, but also compassionate and receptive to what other people need. And I'm just seeing very much a sense of balance. And through that sense of balance, you're getting that recognition, that reward, that victory. Um, so... I hope that resonates. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to pull some Oracle cards. So let's start with your love life. I want to pull two if that's, if that's what spirit wants to do. Also, you know, I can want something and they just, they just have other things in mind. Um, so let me see two cards for Libra that is going to be significant in the month of May. Okay, so the card that flipped over but it didn't fall out is codependency. So I'm just going to see if it comes back out. We'll definitely know it's meant to be there. Two cards. Okay, so we have the card retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And let's see what else comes out if Spirit wants to give me... One more card for Libra and their love life. Okay, we got it. Let's see what it is. True love. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little promising, a little bit better. And I, something just clicked in my head in terms of retreat. Um, so you could remember what I said, what I've been saying is like you might be taking a step back from something. That person might not be taking it well, but you know 
and you have to defend yourself and tell yourself that it's for the best, take that step back, disconnect from the world, all the conflict that people are are trying to put on you in terms of this decision that you're making. And hopefully, by doing so, it will lead you to this true love um, energy, okay? That's, that's what immediately came into my head, okay? So that's exciting, but I know it comes with a little bit of turmoil and heartache, which sucks. But it's leading. And this is what I wanted. I was like, can we get a positive card? Like, if they're going to do all this, go through all of this, what is the outcome? And so I'm seeing that true love, no bullshit games, whatever you were dealing with that you know wasn't right for you, do not settle, ever. True love. Know what you're worth. If you know what you're worth and you don't accept anything less than that, that's the only way you're going to get what you feel that you deserve. If you settle and hope that someone one day is going to turn into everything that you want, that's not how it works. You have to set your standards, cut out what you don't need, and only accept the things that feel like true. Okay. <laughs> so that's exciting. One, I'm going to pull one more card for this life purpose. Um, energy, this recognition, this charity, balance. What do the angels, spirit, the universe, my guides, whoop, isn't, whoop, okay. <laughs> so the card that fell out was talk to your angels. <clears throat> Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Um, so if any of you are spiritual, which I'm assuming some of you are, or at least are interested in it, try listening. Try asking your guides, your angels, getting really quiet, saying that you're open to any messages from the light, from your angels that want to guide you to your divine purpose and see if you hear anything or feel anything or see anything. And the other card that fell out is you are safe and supported while you change your career. Um, oh, it's sorry, it's called protected. So we have protected and talk to your angels. Um, which is like, it's kind of broad, but hopefully this will make you guys feel a little bit better on whatever path you are on. You are protected. Um, you are always guided. It's just up to you whether you want to receive it and follow it. You, no matter what, you're always going to end up back um, where you're supposed to be unless you start making some terrible decisions, <laughs> which I hope you don't do. Anyways, 